Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I'm vlogging again. Um, I feel like I kind of fail about it at the whole vlogging on Tuesdays thing last semester. I say it like I vlogged on other days. I fail about it at vlogging last semester. So I'm going to try to get back on the wagon or whatever that phrase is. Back on the horse, back in the saddle. I'm going to get back onto something that's in motion. Apparently, old-fashioned forms of transportation. Um, and be vlogging again, I'm hoping. Though we are having conversation hour on Tuesdays again, so that is going to be a time conflict once we start doing conversation hour, which we're not doing this week, because we're not. Um, but I only have one class on Wednesdays, so hopefully I will have time Tuesday evenings to, like, vlog, vlog, vlog. And by evenings, I mean afternoon, because the lighting sucks in the evening, because, like, my room is too big and I don't have enough lights to, like, light it up, which is fine. But, like, for vlogging, it's not as great. Anyway, um, speaking of... La Casa Española. We have a new housemate, which is super exciting because um, one of my old housemates went abroad. She's in Chile right now. So we also got someone from abroad. She was in Oaxaca last semester and I already know her. Um, we like had a class together freshman year, so we're friends. And she's awesome, so I'm really excited to have her in the house. And we like went out to dinner on Sunday at the house and it was really cute. Um, and I was complaining about how I don't have a working alarm clock here because you remember how my alarm clock broke over break? And I was like, it's okay, I have another one at school. That was a lie. I think my other alarm clock is actually at home, which you'd think I would have realized when I was at home, but apparently not. I don't know. I just, like, looked in my storage stuff here and was like, where's the clock? And I didn't have it. So, like, the first week of classes I did with just my phone alarm, which I thought was pretty impressive. Um, and then I was complaining about my lack of alarm clock, and my housemate Chris was like, hey, I have an extra. And he gave it to me, and it's so great. So now I can, like, wake up early when I need to and stuff which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, last week was my first week of classes and I'm really enjoying my classes so far. I'm taking two computer science classes and two comparative sociology classes, um, which are about Latin America and about gender, which are both really interesting, even though they have a lot of reading to do. And sometimes I'm not good at doing a lot of reading because I'm a computer science student. We seriously like never do reading. The professor is like a sign reading and I'm like, oh, I should read this. And I look at it and I'm like, I really, really, what? Because nobody actually does computer science reading, so the professors don't expect us to do computer science reading, so it's not like I have to do it to be prepared for class. So there's really like very little incentive to do the reading. So I usually end up not doing it, which makes me feel kind of bad, but like, I also think it's okay. Anyway, but my CS classes have been really interesting so far. Um, in one of them we've been learning about like the internet or whatever. My professor actually said YouTubes, yes, plural, YouTubes in class today? The other day? I don't know. It was, it was funny though. I was, I was amused. Um, and we just started learning about HTML in that class, like really basic HTML stuff, which is good because like since I'm self-taught I do have a lot of gaps in my knowledge or whatever, like I'm learning about what's acceptable in XHTML um, because it's more strict than plain old HTML back when you could do whatever you want and no one would call you out on it. I'm kind of rambling and I'm not going to edit this video, so I'm sorry for that in advance, but whatever. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Coding? Anyway, I'm excited that we're starting to learn HTML because now when I like play around with like tables and stuff, I can be like, really, I'm studying. This is productive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in my other OCS class, we're learning um, about declarative programming, which is, I think it's really interesting, like object-oriented programming, which is like Java and I think same Python and like everything that not everything that people do, but a lot of the popular programming languages right now are object-oriented. And in that, you like think of a feature you want to implement, and then you have to think of, you know, how do I do this? Oh, I'll use a loop, so I'm going to need a counter, whatever. You think of like how you're going to implement it, and then you have to like code all that stuff. But with declarative programming, you're just like, this is what I want it to do. And then you like tell it what you want it to do, and it happens. It's pretty cool. It's really weird, though, like doing this class after I took um, assembly language and computer architecture because that one was like finicky details you need to know exactly how this stuff works and like literally my professor would say um, the goal of this class is for there to not be any magic anymore like the magic blue control box no we have to look inside the control box and figure out what all the wires do and everything it's like all the little details that you don't most programmers don't ever really like use but you have to know them because they're important and then now like with the same professor we're taking this class where he's like I don't care how it works I care what it says 
and he's like no don't think about how this is working and I'm like but 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 you just told us it's it's an interesting mental transition anyway I ramble about computer science a lot in these vlogs but that's okay right I think it's kind of interesting um what else I, did I, did I. I also like my sociology classes, even though sometimes I'm like, this sort of stuff is over my head. But they're both like, you don't need sociology background to be in them, which is how I'm taking them, because I don't have social background. So like, we're, we're getting those foundations. I just feel a little overwhelmed sometimes. Um, This sweater makes me feel like such a Hufflepuff. I feel like most people would end that sentence with the word bumblebee, but no. I choose Hufflepuff, that's what I look like. Um, yeah, I went shopping last weekend with some friends and bought like way too many clothes. Not way too many, I think I'll wear them, but like I spent more money than I probably should have, but that's okay. And then I went to see Spring Awakening, which was so good. Oh my gosh, I loved it. It was amazing. You guys should see it. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, that's mostly what I have to say about my life. Uh, I'm still doing graphics work, and I found out, like, yesterday that I'm tutoring again this semester, which is exciting, because, um, instead of having three sections of the intro class, like they did in the fall, they have two in the spring. So, they were like, we're not gonna have as many openings for tutors, and I was like, oh no, but I want to! But I was accepted, so I'm happy. And that's good. It's good that I'm happy. I just felt the need to point that one out. I don't know. Um, I guess that's all for me. I like my classes so far. I like my house. I like I like things. I'm busy, but I like things. Good summary. Um, Catherine, I think you should give us a tour of your room, which you said you would do once it was more organized. Um, but yeah, I want to really get a better sense of its giganticness, which I guess I kind of did, but like... It's, I don't know, gigantic rooms are fun. I like mine a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm glad that you and your roommate are getting along because I like her from all of what I've heard of your Facebook stalking over break. So I'm glad that that's going well IRL as well. That was a lot of end rhyme. In case you didn't pick up on that one because I know sometimes you don't. Sam, um... Uh, I wanted to say thank you for your help on my crossword puzzle last night, because I totally finished it. Super exciting. My friends and I like started it at lunch, and I was like, meh, should I take this home and try to finish it later? Meh, 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 sure, whatever, I'll throw it in my bag. And then I finished it, with your help, and it was great. Um, and also, I think you're still at home now, but it's probably your last couple days at home, so I hope you have been enjoying your time with your family and everything. And I hope you're also excited to go back to France. And I hope that when you are back in France, you vlog so we can hear about it. And I hope that I vlog in the future, too. Because I'm going to try. Neil, you're on this channel, too. Someday you might vlog. I just wanted to throw that one in there. But, I mean, not, not really holding my breath or anything. 